Not everyone would venture to travel in Russia in winter. It's unbearably cold and you can't really enjoy your travels, they say. So is it worth traveling here in winter? Let's find it out, because today I set up for my expedition to the north of Russia. The whole winter I will travel to the northernmost cities of the country and visit remote places that few tourists have ever been to. Well, I don't know where to start. Not everything in this life goes as you plan to. I was supposed to board this train 12 hours ago in the morning, but I'm still in St. Petersburg because I lost my passport and I spent the whole day in the police office. Fortunately, everything is restored now and now I'm finally going to board the train which goes to the Republic of Karelia. I was supposed to go to the town of Sertavala from St. Petersburg with a friend of mine and now he is there waiting for me all alone and I feel really bad and sorry about this but I couldn't do anything and I guess this is how it was supposed to be. I'm happy that I'm gonna see him tomorrow though and we're gonna explore really beautiful places in the north of Russia. Well, good morning from Karelia Republic. I wanted to open the curtains and to be like, good morning, but it's so dark outside. It looks like night. The days in winter in Russia are super short and the further you go to the north, the shorter they are. So it's gonna be dark like this till 11 a.m. or even noon. It's hard to wake up sometimes because you wake up, look outside and it's completely dark. But anyways, now I'm in an apartment that I'm renting for several nights here. And let me show you around because it's quite an interesting piece of apartment. This place looks like the Soviet Union style. Well, I think that this apartment is of those time. The furniture, all the design, the tablecloth, everything looks exactly like the apartment of my babushka, my grandma. Even this, it's like the same thing. And look at this oh, really heavy iron. Soviet Union apartment sound. What I found weird about this apartment is the doors. The door to this room is here and also here. Like, why would you need two doors to the same room? And also there is door here and door here to the same room again. Why? I don't understand this. Anyway, it feels like I'm visiting my babushka. Now we need to go outside because my friend is waiting for me. And he is waiting for me since yesterday, so it's better to get ready. What is that? Please don't hate me. I'm here! Just a bit late! 12 hours late. That's okay. To be honest, I never had a dream to visit Karelia Republic. But what I really want to do in this region of Russia is to take a special train which goes from this town to a mountain park. It's not a usual train, it's really unique and special and I really want to show it to you. We will do that in several moments, but at first let's explore the Sortavala town itself. Karelia Republic is a region in northwest Russia, which people call the country of lakes. Sartavala is located on the shores of one of these lakes, Lake Ladoga, close to the border with Finland. I used to think that villages were boring, comparing to big cities. I thought that there was nothing to do there. How wrong I was! It's actually so amusing to experience this slow and calm lifestyle, walk in the tiny streets, 
and meet the locals who have an absolutely different view of the world, other problems and hobbies. Just so many fishermen. А вы давно уже здесь рыбачите? Сегодня поздно пришел. Mm. А вы часто рыбачите, да? Ну да, как свободное время. Зимой часто. А когда больше нравится рыбачить летом или зимой? Зимой, Почему? Потому что летом не пойду рыбачить. А клюет сегодня? Плохо. Плохо? Среду, да. Обычно больше? Да, килограмма 3-5 уже. Ого. Не, у меня руки сразу мерзнут, поэтому да, я привык. в варежках. Привык. Вообще, как можно так без варежек? Она может игнорировать любую другую наживку. Угу. Мотыль это для нее как красная икра. И все. Теперь на их лоте, смотри. This device is showing the fish and that the fish is coming. Клюет. Ура! Окунь. Вы отпустите его? Конечно, зачем он нужен? Mm -hmm. Он живет. Куда такой? Да. It's a baby. <laughs> It's fish baby. I was even allowed to make, I don't know in English, лунка. A hole. Вот так? Не. Нет? Нет. <laughs> <laughs> Еще? Конечно. Пока до конца не зайдет? Да. <laughs> Я как-то не так доделаю. Это ты делаешь медленно. Вау, супер фаст. First time for me ever to fish in the winter. This is so different from summer. Even this rod is so different. I really don't understand how the fishermen could sit in the middle of the windy lake for hours. It was freezingly cold there, so I didn't catch any fish, but I came to a restaurant instead to try famous Karelian Uha, fish soup with salmon. When in Karelia you should also try Kalitka, those are open pies with fish or with northern berries. For example, Maroshka, a berry that grows in the far north of Russia. Well, I have arrived to the platform nine and three quarters. Oops, I mean the sort of our station. But it does look like this train cannot go anywhere but Hogwarts. <laughs> this is Ruskiala Express the retro train in Karelia. The steam engine runs on coal, it uses 20 tons of it and a ton of water per one-hour trip. The train is pulled by a 1953 Soviet-era locomotive. The system requires a train driver and two assistants who are in charge of the firebox. It's a constant battle to keep the furnace roaring.
apartment here. <laughs> Very it's nice. It's so cool. It looks like it's only for us, like. Yes! Здравствуйте, еще раз чай желаете? Да, пожалуйста. Спасибо вам большое. Nikki, is it interesting? Some important news? Like basic info about this train. The stuff that you can get here for free or not for free. The menu for the car restaurant, which is insanely cool. And also some news about this train. So basically it's very useful info, but it's entirely in Russian. So if you do not know Russian, I'm sorry. Perhaps you find an app to translate it uh, like from camera. So you should learn Russian guys to read some News from Ruskiaevsky Express. This is the only daily steam train in Russia, which goes from Sertavala to Ruskiala Mountain Park. The atmosphere is like you go back to the 19th century. Wow. This is so exciting. This train actually doesn't look too different from other Russian trains of RJD company. That's the only train company in Russia. The design is just different. These curtains, the carpet and everything. Look what we found here, some Karelian alcohol. Also Karelian balsam, how to say balsam? What is balsam? No idea, it's balsam, it's basically not alcohol that you drink straight, but you can add it to tea or coffee or just uh, drink uh, by teaspoons. Mm, just add health. some alcohol to your tea. Now Nikki and I came from that VIP first class train to a third class train and everything here is super different. People kind of just sit uh, at the tables and have some food and now we're also going to a coach which is a restaurant This restaurant isn't as fancy as the previous one. Nikki, do you like what's in the menu? Well, uh, the menu is actually the same. The interiors are different in this restaurant. Yeah, it's like a usual train. Yeah, I will definitely go for the first one on the way back. The only disadvantage of this train is that it arrives to its destination too fast. I would take this train for longer. Actually, it's only 40 kilometers from Sartavala to Ruskiala and this train probably could reach it in like 30 minutes. But on a purpose, they made it ride longer because it's such a nice ride. And well, we have arrived and we're gonna explore Ruskiala. Ruskiala, let's go. When you get out of the train, you find yourself in this magical forest in Karelia. It's so nice to get outside of a city for some time, to get experience like this, just walking in the nature. It's just so magical here. Ruskiala Mountain Park is a human creation and it's a once abandoned marble mine. The marble deposit was discovered in the 18th century under the reign of Catherine II. There are 11 large and small quarries here. Most of the giant underground mountain systems, which spread for many kilometers, are flooded now. But it's possible to visit one of the tunnels that has opened for visits recently. Now we are underground in one of the quarries and this marble actually was used to build some architectural buildings in St. Petersburg like Kazan Cathedral, Isaac Cathedral and Mikhailovsky Castle. How cool is that? Like this very marble. 
And I've never seen anything like that. The frozen underground lake, marble around you, and this. I have a tradition on my channel to hide a matryoshka doll in places that I go to. Inside the doll I put a note and 100 Russian rubles for a cup of tea for you to warm up. In Ruskiala you will find the doll in a cozy restaurant named Ruskalka. You can see its exact location on the screen. Just tell anyone from the staff the name of my channel, Ellie from Russia, and they will give it to you. I hope this tradition will motivate you to explore Russia. We spent the whole day in the park, but now we're getting warm in the train, going back to Sartavala and having Karelian food. So good. Nikki says that it's good, so I'm switching off my phone to get some food. We're back to Sartavala, changing a train now to go back to St. Petersburg. This one, oh! The wind is so strong that snowflakes hurt my face, or it's hail actually. This was the end of my trip to the Republic of Karelia, but it's only the beginning of my travels to the northern cities of Russia. I'm sure that I will have a lot of interesting, curious things to show you from the north of Russia. So make sure to watch my next videos and I will see you soon. Stay warm there. I used to think that the best city in Russia was Moscow. I was even arrogant enough to believe that all other places in the country are in some way inferior to the capital. But the more I travel, the more I realize that the richness of a place doesn't lie in salaries or opportunities, but it's about hospitable people and unique experiences that you can find. So let's continue exploring. And I am heading farther North.